guess I'm wearing the same PJs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> please, no judgment. Come here. Girl. Come here. That is my pants. You're not going to get underneath my leg. Ma'am. Putting your eye boogers all over my leg. My baby. Yeah. Sweet baby. So I'm just here trying to get Vlogmas day one up before I get going to work. And cozy hun. She did not want me getting up, but I have to get ready for work. So listen, I, I've always been kind of like into horoscopes and stuff. Not general everyone's horoscope, but my own. Come on, y'all. I mean, did you not just hear his message? How it was like so in line with what I was talking to you guys about yesterday? So this is Minnow Pontero. If you don't believe in that stuff, that's fine. Like I don't necessarily take everything that people say. It's interesting when it really does align with what I've already said without even like having watched a particular video. So anyways. I don't know about y'all, but I heard that, and that's why I'm just like, what, you know? So anyways, hey y'all, good morning, happy Vlogmas day two. I'm just here trying to stay in frame, that's why I keep squatting down <laughs> while I do my skincare routine. Having my morning coffee, I cannot chat for too long because I do need to get to work. I spent, you know, most of my morning time getting that yesterday's Vlogmas video up. It's crazy, like what he said, work smarter not harder and i am that's something that was that's been on my mind i need to like be better at letting go and delegating and not feeling like i have to do everything myself not because i don't trust other people but because i hold myself to a high standard and i just am like why can't you do it you know but i need to take a chill pill yo girl needs to take a chill pill okay so anyways all right Yeah. Same thing in love as well. Mm. It's about like saying, you know, I'm not, we're not going to rush to the finish line. We're I not going to rush to get though. married or whatever it is for you. Definitely. We're just going to put in the practice and see what happens. That's like more, I think that'll lead to like so much success and also for a breath of fresh sure. air for you here, Leo. It's not even funny. Um, mm -hmm. You have the Ten Pentacles, everything you want in your life. Again, like it's just crazy because it definitely is like, um, echoing thoughts that are in my head right now one thing i've been reflecting on is obviously i have not um re-entered the dating world or anything like that since my divorce has been final just because it's not a top priority for me and also i'm not like 
I'm just enjoying the season of life where it's just me and Juicy, you know? Um, because I know with relationships, you know, there is responsibility. Like, you know, when you enter into something, it's like you have to be okay with giving up your, you know, moving your time around. And at this moment in time, I don't feel like I have found anyone who I would do that for on a romantic level anyways. You know, I have friends and whatnot. And to, to let someone in on that kind of a level will take a little bit of time for me because, um, I don't want to rush into anything and I'm really hoping that and I think it'll happen for me eventually you know like I just don't want it to, I don't want to rush into something I think if you guys heard my story about how me and the ex got together when I was 20 you know like that whole falling in love concept that was definitely I felt us or at least me you know let me you know. I will only speak for myself. I've been down that road. And not to say that that's not successful because also something I've been reflecting on is like, yes, my marriage ended, but that doesn't negate the fact that we were successful for a period of time together. Um, we achieved goals together. We did have a happy life together for, you know, certain period of time relationships in general it's not like it's not you know you can't put something on autopilot anyways i, I don't want to get into it but anyways you can't put it on auto, autopilot and you can't just assume that because someone is one way you know for so long and then temptations come around that's why i think it's like super important to have a very very strong moral code that you abide by because for me it keep like that keeps me on a have where I'm happy with myself, where I can look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, I like you. Like, you're a good person. You're not perfect, but you're a good person. And that's important for me. Like, you know, um, it's important for me and it's important for my future partner to be someone like that. Having integrity is important. You can say whatever you want to say, but it's consistent action, you know? And I think love especially, um, it's easy to fall in love, right? Like that initial... Um, falling in love part, but I think for something to have longevity, you know, it takes work, it takes consistency, it takes like working on even yourself as a person and um, and holding true to like the values that you say that you hold yourself true to. And, um, and also I'm learning that you can't like force someone to do that, you know, like I am not responsible to keep someone on the straight and narrow. I'm not responsible for that. Like either someone chooses that and whatnot or they choose not to. Either way, choices have consequences. So um, anyways, I don't know, I'm going off on tangent. I've been thinking about that where like, I know it's gonna take a little bit of time for me and I hope whoever I meet, I kind of want that. Like I want to be able to, for it to grow, not just like slowly as in like years, but you know, like I'm just not gonna be the person where I'm just gonna fall in love with you the second that I see you, you know, like mm -mm. for me, trust is a big thing and trust, you can give it to someone, but like, you know, it takes time for someone to reveal their true character, you know, cause it's going to have to show consistency and if their words match their actions. Um, cause you know, I, like I said, I've had time to reflect. I am by no means perfect. I have things that I need to work on and I continue to work on. But the things that I had issues with in the beginning of our relationship are similar things that ended it. You know what they say when you see red flags on ignore them. I'm good with like a yellow flag, an orange flag, you know, a burnt orange flag. I'm all good with that. Like I know people aren't perfect. I know people need to improve. But where I see red flags and I have specific red flags in my mind um, now, if I see a red flag, honey, I'm running the other direction, okay? Like, I'm just not doing that again. I, I feel like I give people, and you know, I'm not just talking about the ex. Like, I'm talking about, you know, this also is with human relationships, right? Whether it's friendships, colleagues, someone can say they are who they are, but it'll take time to reveal that. And, um, yeah, that's just what it is, so. You know, I've definitely experienced that throughout my life. And this most recent, you know, situation definitely 
kind of solidified that belief of mine. So anyways, I think it's just funny because, you know, it's echoing what he's saying. I don't even remember what he was saying. <laughs> I don't even remember, but I feel like it was very in line with what he was saying, you know, like, yeah, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy my ramblings. I just tend to think about things and I don't say it out loud. So I might as well say it out loud since it's Vlogmas. We allow things to be hard or we allow them to be easy. Mm. So I would just say start allowing easy. Mm. Plain and simple. With the Knight of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. You have the power, Leo. This is a card of being bold, being assertive. I like to dive in thoroughly, okay? I'm going to be talking about your money and career. I'm mm. going to be talking about your romantic love life. Eh? I'm gonna be talking I don't know about y'all. You know, people with teenagers as their children. This one here, I am trying to get her so we can go. I gotta go to work, hun. Wanna go potty? Go pee pee? Ma'am? I know you can hear me. Ma'am? Come on, let's go. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Come here. <laughs> you know you're playing a game. I can tell you're being mischievous. Mm, you're being silly. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seriously. I gotta get going, baby. Good girl. Okay, stay right there. This is our little afternoon walk. Come on, baby. Come on, kitty. Hey y'all, so I just got off of work. I am home now and um, I am going to take care of Juju. Missed her so much, my baby, my baby. Hold on, hun, had to change the battery. Ah, the tree looks so cute in the background. So, now I have to go over here. So this is Juicy's little playpen area and I do line it with some puppy pads because you know, my lady, doesn't necessarily like to hold it, so I'm thinking about maybe doing like diapers too, you know, because not gonna lie, sometimes she has a number two accident and it's no fun. Not, it's not fun <laughs> to deal with. So, anyways, Juju, you ready? Going this way, hen. Just went potty. Uh, today was a good day. I think I have a notebook that I'll have to show you guys. I have a quote on it, and I share it on Instagram. And I like it because it reminds me that yesterday is done. There's no use in bringing any of that negative energy or any feels or anything like that into today. So it's a nice little reminder. I got it from a place called, bless you. I forgot what it was called, but I'll show it to you guys later. I'm gonna make Juicy's food. I'm hurrying as fast as I can, okay? Please do not do that. Ma'am. Juicy is having her water now. She's had her insulin in her food. So I am making some of my favorite Trader Joe's Italian sausage. So I'm just gonna have that with some rice. I had some snacking tomatoes I was gonna cut up and eat with that, but they're a little soft and I don't like soft tomatoes. So, sayang right there. I get so irritated with myself sometimes and just like, why, girl, why? Anyways, I've been calendar time. I'm eating so that I can go to the gym here in about an hour and a half. Maybe a sour fruit hard candy ball. Let's see. Mm. Mm hmm That's sour. It's orange though, and orange is not like one of my favorite flavors in candy, but that's okay, it's yummy. You know, the Spotify 2021 music, whatever things are out, and it's really funny because it said that my aura, my music aura is wistful and warm. <laughs> I'll link it down in the, in the description box for you guys if you wanna listen to the songs that kinda got me through this year. It's a mixture of Songs that got me in my feels, some songs that like kind of represented like what I was going through. And then there's a lot of songs too that like are things that I hope for in the future. Um, I'm not gonna play them obviously right now because copyright stuff, but 
I'll show y'all a few that are like my absolute favorite, or tell y'all a few of my absolute favorite songs. Um, there's a song called I Can't Fall In Love Without You by Zara Larson. I love that song so much, but it doesn't apply to anyone, <laughs> but something that I um, I hope for in the future or sometime. Dear No One by Tori Kelly, that one's a good one. Still Have Me, Demi Lovato. Um, Six Months by John Kay. Naked by Jake Scott. Anyways, y'all go if you want to and you're, you know, going through something too and you want to listen to some music that'll either put you in your feels or make you feel hopeful. But John Kay was one of my favorites this year and it was I-L-Y-M, I Love You More. That one's a really good one too. And a lot of Kane Brown. I love Kane Brown. I love um, Maren Morris and Ryan Hurd. Anyways, I'll, li I'll link it for you guys if you feel like listening. That is what I'm gonna be listening to uh, whenever I go to the gym. It's not the most, uh, it, you know, like pump you up kind of stuff, but it keeps me motivated, so. Anyways, um, I'm kind of off on my schedule, but today I'm gonna do legs, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do like upper body. So I'll show you guys what I do. So let's hang out with Juju for a bit beforehand. Okay. Demandy. That's the real question. Is she the one demanding or am I the one demanding? Hey, can you please not rub your eye boogers on my pants? Girl! Hey, please don't do that. <laughs> hey! Juju, no, we're not doing that. Uh-uh, you're gonna cough. Please stop. Please stop, honey. Hey, ma'am. <laughs> oh. She's okay. It's okay. That's why I say don't do that. As much fun as it is, we can't do that. I'm just not able to do that anymore. No, don't do that. What I just say? Lay down, okay? Yeah, I know. Please relax. I love you, cutie. You're okay. You're okay, my baby.
Juju. You're okay. <gasps> oh, yeah. She's tired, so I'm going to hurry up and have my protein shake. And then call it a night. Oh. My goodness, you're so sweet, honey. You are so sweet. Oh my goodness, Juju, you are the sweetest. You are the sweetest. I love you. Oh my heavens. I know. She knows. She knows how sweet she is. <laughs> oh my goodness, hon. I love you. My baby. My baby. You would like to um, have a coaching or friendly sisterly advice call with me. Today's question, what I'd like to know about y'all is, what is your like favorite holiday tradition? Whether it's like watching certain movies or baking, like what is it about the holiday season that you kind of like look forward to? If you maybe don't have one, maybe, you know, you can get some ideas from what people share. That way we can start making our own traditions, you know? Anyways, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. I'm not in the mood to chat too much now, I'm tired, but. Anyways, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And we will see you later.